English. Welcome, to, welcome new, to the first new... English edition of yeah, but it's remake. New... This is a remake. This, this, <laughs> this is, is the remake. This is yeah. remake of our own show. But it's new episode of Hollywood Hooligans podcast. The first actually remake episode of Hollywood Hooligans podcast. So since as, as I would start in, in other podcasts, so how are you doing, man? Good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, good. It's good. You're dealing with the. Uh, I dealing with uh, everything. <laughs> pandemic so and yeah, pandemic. epidemic, pandemic. Yeah. I have vaccine already. Mm. For myself. Only for yourself. Oh, only for myself. You greedy bastard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so today we're gonna have a, a, a guest from actually from Hollywood, from Los Angeles. So um, are we gonna tell a little bit what? Hooligans are all about, or let people just go with the flow? But no, like we have to introduce ourselves for, for a little bit, you know, like Hollywood Hooligans, it's a pandemic podcast about the film industry and about the film, about the people who work in, from one side of ca- camera and from other side of camera too. Actually, we want to represent uh, like uh, other side of camera which as is much like, as yeah, like in front then, of the camera, then, yeah. then at front of the camera. Today our guest is from uh, from side of the camera. What everybody see you like usually see, yeah. on the on the on the TV or screen, you know, like, you know, like in the cinemas. But for for the future, our idea is to to represent the people who making the movie. Like as much the, as I, the yeah, actors, yeah, yeah, as yeah, much yeah. The, the people who are Actually, in the process. Actually, no, my, my opinion is we, I appreciate it for, for the actors because they, they doing a lot of work. Without the actors, we don't have a movie, you know, like, but like, on other way, we don't have a movie with people, without like crew. without the people, like whole crew and everything. Yeah, every single know? person matters. And, 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 and we would like to hear the voices of all of them because there's really a lot of hardworking people yeah. in our industry, as much That's, as in front yeah. of camera, as much as, as behind and, and, and from, from every grip to every driver, to every makeup, yeah. to every I don't know, like to every AD, to every, you know, the, the, you know office people. Um, they're all hard workers, and, and it's really cool to hear their side of the story too. And how yeah, I know. I'm sorry, and... like because I have to say something before that because I don't know. I'm not sure if we are first who doing who doing the, the, the like kind of material like that to represent the people from other side of camera. But like I don't know. I'm not sure, but I, I'm glad <coughs> to we can do that and we can represent. The people like from other side of the camera. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really, that's our, yeah. our goal is here. That's, and, that's, and, that's know, the idea. To, and then you know to hear these people's life stories and, and what films mean to them and, and, and art. And yeah, because everything. it's a lot of everything. people. It's a lot of people, you know, included in that projects. Like, well, uh, yeah. Sometimes on set we have like you know 300, 500 people, if not more, on some yeah, big sets. Yeah. That are there, and each one is in, in, in a very important part of. of yeah, the because film. idea is to represent the credits, like on other side side of the camera. That's some some idea. Yeah. Forgive the credits also to people who working hard every day. You know. So because you're you're working film industry, but you work mostly behind the camera. We can talk later on. We'll talk more about that exactly what you do. But what about experiences as an actor? I, I have like couple of experience from like at front of the camera, and I, I don't know. I can choose one of them. Like and it's funny because it, it was it was really funny. I will not choose my first one, but I will choose my 
I don't know which yeah, one. Yeah, we already but... spoke a couple of things <clears throat> on, on, on our language. Your first one, so not to repeat that one. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, my favorite one is the, the one on the CSI like show. The, no, that the, was the, yeah, that was uh, like story with uh, like about the uh, the body bag. I was like some some I was grooved for the for the for the scene in some. I don't know, it's some show like uh, CSI, the something like you know that kind of forensic uh, forensic show. Uh, yeah, like yeah, they 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 call me on set. It's your turn now. I came there. It's uh, it was some action be before I have to close the the, the body bag, and director say like you were you know, you're a forensic forensic guy, yeah. Yeah, I was forensic guy there. Yeah, they, it was some show like kind of FBI show or something like. Uh, CSI uh, Miami or something. It, it, I don't know. I don't remember the name of the show, but it was kind of set was a Florida show or something. And they say, okay, you have to check the points. Some I don't know, like some numbers, uh, clues or something. I don't know. Like you have to check everything on the uh, on the end of the scene. You have to close the body bag. Inside was like the actors. Inside, Act, in actors, the, yeah, yeah, she actors, was kind, of, yeah, yeah, she was kind of killed, <coughs> killed or something. And they say, okay, you have to close the body bag, but be careful, don't close like whole, whole way. You know? uh -huh. And I say, no worry, no worry. Like I will do that. I've finished that. But did you have um, so so were you very nervous or? No, I was not no, nervous no. at all. You know, it was for me it was I was comfortable, like mm. kind of hundred percent. You know. I'm there, you know, I have to finish the task and that's it. And I say, no worry, I will do that, that, that that's okay. And I did like whole, whole action and I came to, to, to actors like to close the, the, the body bag. And of course I closed whole way, you know, like, and they say, you know, cut, 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 what's that? Like, you know, are you crazy? Who, who, who sent that guy, you know, who sent that guy here? Like, here's, he's, he's fucking crazy, you know, he, he closed the bag all the way. And they said, you know what, I don't want to see, the director say, I don't want to see that guy anymore who sent him, like, here. About you, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he said, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. They was kind of, you know, scared because, I don't know because maybe it's some like uh, some case for uh, for uh, getting a big, for, big yeah problem. yeah you know and uh, I I opened the bag automatically of course I, I didn't think you know like I will do something wrong and I opened the bag and like actors was like uh, she was jumped from the from really? the body she, bag she, scared, she yeah? jumped no she said she was hugging me and she said oh no thank you thank you a lot you know I, that's amazing experience thank you so much you know but anyway like director was say he was angry on me he was like so mad you know and we finished that actually i think we finish we finished whole day with that that was like, actually you know last scene then because they was like so he mad. Did, he was so mad, really? Oh yeah. He, that, that was the end I of the think day. that was the end of that was rap. We are rap guys, you know, like because you I, closed the body back till the end. Yeah, and I follow the the, the director upstairs, uh -huh. and uh, I told to him, you know what? Like if you have like some like dead bodies on on f f like uh, like a future yeah. sets, mm -hmm. just call me. I will deal with that. No problem. And he was like turned the head on other way, you know. He didn't even to to he didn't even want to like say something to me or respond to me. He just left, you know. That was end of my like of my career of the like of the actor. yeah, acting, <laughs> acting career. career. Yeah, that was the last, <laughs> you know, like. And I have more. I have more stories, funny yeah. stories. Actually, it was everything is funny. Actually, everything about is a funny me. Story. We, you we, know, we like an, yeah, 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 my career. Yeah, we do an everything. Yeah, yeah. Career. yeah, yeah but there's some you, good stories. There's some good stories. There's some. Can yeah. you can yeah. you tell me it's your it's your it's it's funny story about you and Stephen Baldwin? Like, can you say something? Well, no, about yeah, we, we uh, as a kid, as a kid, I, I loved some of the movies that that uh, Stephen Baldwin was in, especially The Usual Suspects. That was that was one of my favorite movies, and the, and by Dom, I know that that fucked up his career, but I like that movie as, a, a lot and and, and fly that. Anyway, he, he was like one of my favorite actors in the in the early '90s. Then he disappeared, and and eventually we we worked together on this film. I was second AD, uh, this biblical film, and he he was acting as. Uh, 
King, uh, the King Nero. Anyway, anyway, he, he's a crazy dude, and, and we, we, you know, made good friends. And I was telling him a joke. There was a joke going on in the 90s, but apparently not in stage. I was like, "Hey, Steve, do you know what sucks about being a Baldwin brother?" And I'm like, no, I'm like nothing. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a good story. Yeah. That's like, so funny, he's you know, like, you're laughing. Story. He's like, what? I was like, that's the joke that we had in Europe about you guys, all in good movies, and you're with you know best looking girls, and you had all the drugs you want. You had everything you wanted, man. You know, like what sucked the one. And nothing, he was not man. mad about the no, joke. Man, he he liked was it, like, no, man. Cool he he, he yeah. laughed his fucking ass. Oh, he's nice. like, I never heard that one. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, he's a he's a he's a cool dude. Crazy, but really cool. Really cool that's dude. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, acting myself. Uh, well, I'm, I'm a director and I, I love working with actors. That's actually my favorite part in the whole process is working with actors. And I always defend them and, and yeah, I, I just love, you know, when, when we, you know, create, you know, me and, and an actor or actress create, you know, this, this persona that they're doing. It's, it's molding together. It's, it's, for me, it's, you know, the coolest experience that I can Can you have. tell something about your, like, acting experience? Like, well, yeah. acting-wise, Acting wise, yeah, I never, I was never really into acting myself. Uh, but when I started, you know, directing, and, and, and I was like, okay. But you, you tried something. Yeah, you know, like, you, like I was like, you have, have, to, you have to work with, with actors. So it happened, so it happened that people would ask me to, you know, oh, would you do this role? And, uh, and at the beginning, I would be like, no, no, no. I was like, not only shy, I was just like, mm, I don't give a fuck about that. But then I was like, shit, I have to work with actors myself as a director, and it's really, really cool to, to understand, you know, get their, their, you know, point of view of an actor. So I started, you know, accepting those roles. And the more, as a director, I worked with actors, the more, the more I, I liked acting myself. So what it happened in, in one of the films that I directed, uh, a really good friend of mine, she wrote the script, and... I decided to direct the film, and, and it, it's very dark, 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 dark story. It's based on, on a real life story. It's a very dark story, and we needed. It, it, it was this girl who was physically abused by this guy, and and, and and so you know we were casting for the film, so so she would act as as this as this girl, and we were casting for the film, and so yeah, we, we were we were looking for um for the right actor and and for the for the male role. And I just didn't believe, you know, anybody. It, I mean, it's, it was a very difficult thing to do. Um, I know that. Um, but I just, it was either was supposed to be portrayed real or not. So I decided to step in and that was the most difficult thing that I ever did in my life. Um, you know, at, at one point, I remember it, it was actually the rape scene and, and, and I was raping. I mean, not really. But I mean, yeah, you, really, was, yeah. you fake that. Fake, but course, I mean, you yeah. have to make it real. And, and you, at one point, you know, it was like really going on crazy. And it's like, oh, you know, and I, I, I'm like, fuck. And I, I, the, the girl, like, I'm like, hey, are you okay? You know, uh, I was freaked out. And she's like, no, man, shut up and continue. Man. Let's do this in, you know, as well as possible. Stay in the role. And I'm like, fuck, man, that is, uh, that is uh, yeah, very difficult. Yeah, that's, so, yeah, that's... Um, some new experience, some yeah, difficult new, new experience. And, 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 and like for me, it's gonna, always going to help. Yeah, yeah. As a director, then you know. Um, yeah, that's like that role. from psychology side. It's it's mm. really really kind of you know difficult and. Uh, yeah, that, that's I think one of the mo probably the most difficult thing about being an actor. I would I would say so. Uh, the, the psychological issues that, that they, they go through. We have a interesting guest today. He's uh, like a no, legend. He's, yeah, he's I mean, a legend uh, of, of you know Hollywood. Well, of acting back world. in the days. Yeah, yeah. From movie. Yeah, from here. And Deer from, Hunter. From Deer Hunter and many other productions, but those two are like, some of my favorite movies. And uh, yeah, that's the John. Mr. Mr. John Mr. Savage. John Savage. Yeah, we, we worked together also in, in in Serbia and Croatia. That's the only film that I ever did uh, down there. Domestic and movie. <laughs> Dom domestic. Domestic. Yeah, it's it is well. It was it was yeah made, made by by two brothers. My my, my no, they became my good friends. Um, but actors were from Canada, United States, and and Serbia. Um, it was very interesting. Yeah, and so there was there was. Uh, um, 
Yeah, Michael yeah. Carré, uh, John Savage, uh, Nick Mancuso, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and, and Lazar. Yeah. Or, or Lazar, just or Lazar. Just, or just, just Lazar. That's just Lazar. Just Lazar. Who is Lazar? He's Lazar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, it's, it's, it's time to call, uh, to call John. He's uh, back, in, back in LA, and um, I can't wait to keep for him. <laughs> all the time everybody's waiting look just trust me we need just trust me i got it all figured out you're making it sound like i don't want to come godfather off to roll i wanted to thank you for all you've done for me you might want to have some breakfast with us no, thanks i can't all oh, right how's your time i'm just fired in please. <laughs> come on Every time I sacrificed one of those lives, a part of me is lost this way. You gotta get close, Rich, to get the truth. You get too close, you die. Sony te zovu ti dođeš Amer, a? I da je on. Kako vam se sviđu Zavića i gospodine Petroviću? Lawyer with a friend. You're not his lawyer, are you? You were paid to come here. Hi John, how are you doing? Hi John. This is so cool. Thank you very much, you are cool too. Thank you so much, let me out. I'm kind of new to this. Oh, me too actually. This is all novelties. Gotta stay in, you know. We can't meet people, but just to be around the trees, you know. I said I brought the flowers out because it's Mother's Day. Right? Yeah, it's a Mother's Day, so happy, happy Mother's Day. Yeah, that's cool. happy Mother's Day. And uh, these flowers come from a friend of mine. He uh, he has a plantation down, and I met him on a plane once years ago. And every holiday, uh, he sends oh I don't know fifty different color, different kinds of roses from his plantation. And uh, for me, it's one of the nicest parts of all the holidays is just to sit with that peace and the beauty of these uh, flowers and remember the things in my life, you know. And this right now is, you know, mostly family and people in that that area. And But I just like thinking about them like we have to do now because of this uh, COVID-19. You know, we can't hug people, we can't shake hands, blah, blah, blah. It's all good, though. I think we're going to learn from it, you think? Yeah, well, it, it just, that's the way it is. I mean, we have to accept it, I guess. And, uh, right. Yeah, and, and the more we, the more we uh, take care of you know, each other, the faster it's going to go, so. Yeah, we have to live with that. That's it. That's, uh... And I like that attitude. Yeah. That's well, a little bit of the Italian, but it's probably very Slavic, too. Just, eh, you know, eh, what are we going to do? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, that's a faction of Mama La Cucia, Bonnero. You don't speak Italian, do you? I hope uh, not. A little bit. Po pochissimo, pochissimo. 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 Piccolo, piccolo. piccolo. When I get with my friends from Serbia, I start to remember a little of Serbian. Do, uh -huh, Where, are uh -huh. Where are you from? Do you remember any words? Do I remember what? Any words, any, any Serbian or Croatian words? Slava? Slava. 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 Thank yeah. you. That's right? The celebration. How do you say thank you? I know, Kvala, Kvala. Kvala, Kvala. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's correct, yeah. That's number one. Yeah, it's really now, beautiful. You see, you, see, you see what I'm handling? I just hold in the phone. Um, I do my, I, mean, I have meetings that I do with this, and I just sit and listen most of the time. But if this is all right, like this? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So thank you, thank you so much for, uh... And it's beautiful view behind you, actually. It's really cool. What part of Fela do you live in? I like it better right here. Look at this. Can you see? <laughs> oh, no, I go this way. Yeah, that's all. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, you have nice Look at weather. my trees. 
you know, as you get, as I got older in Hollywood and Los Angeles, the trees now are twice as tall. And uh, my son said, oh, that's because of all the carbon. And that was confusing to me. But there's more carbon in the air, which is killing us and the earth. But the trees, they want, they, they eat the carbon up. So they're actually good for cleaning the air, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. Sorry. Exactly. Yeah. You know, they're growing taller. Well, I actually find it beautiful over there in LA that it's it's green all the time and I love the palms. Uh I was really I was really um weirded out to find out the the palms in in LA they're all uh they're not natural. They're all brought to to California. That's what people call Right. Me. I didn't know I, that. I love I, I, I love the mountains in in uh, Croatia, Serbia, the the hills and and uh, I have friends who started uh, uh, vineyards in the hills. You know, only in the last 20, 15 years, 10 years, and now they have the best wine in Europe in these tiny little farms. And uh, I don't I don't drink anymore, but just to look at those vineyards with those grapes as big as oranges, you know, oh, yeah. it's, in it's the mountains yeah. in Serbia, beautiful hills in Serbia. I love it. Thanks, yeah, uh, John. I wanted to I wanted yeah. to ask you about acting. You're you're a legend, and and thank you, first of all, thank you so much for uh, for doing this with us. Uh, I'm I'm really thank grateful. Thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, I mean, both of us, Inisha yeah. and I, we, we, we love filmmaking. And and I now I'm talking personally as a director. My favorite thing to do is to work with actors. I just love that. I love that whole process. That's I was everything. grateful to work. I was grateful to work with you. Um, in this country, right? Yeah, it was in Serbia and a little bit in Croatia, but but we never uh, worked in, together. In, in your country, I mean, yeah. And uh, just that experience of you know companies uh, with many many different many different parts, the people from many, many different areas, you know, um, and the history or the feeling of the history of the few people who were actually the, the story was about, and go into that real home there, and then crossing the border now where they had a border with, with police and things with you know a whole new perspective of that yeah. world yeah. to share that with you was a great experience yeah you remember yeah exactly we were shooting in Serbia a little bit and then we crossed and we, we were shooting in, in Croatia uh, and, and in that, one girl, in, in that Osic, one in girl the, the one girl from Romania from, who got stopped oh she was from Bosnia from Bosnia, yeah. Bosnia. Dude, oh, that was crazy story because she got she got arrested. That girl. She got stopped, arrested, whatever. But yeah. was it affiliation with something going on? It was illegal, or was it just her passport? Um, well, I've heard a couple of versions. I personally don't really know. I've no. heard different versions, especially because it was even later on in the newspapers apparently that uh, I guess she was involved in, in some criminal. But the one thing, thing exactly. the one thing is good no more fighting right yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hopefully, that's, hopefully. that's good yeah and cheers yeah. to that yeah cheers cheers cheers, cheers. we are the, the best peace. example of that actually. yeah exa exactly exactly yeah so and, and you shot two films over there you shot the return that we worked together on and you shot the basketball film yeah the, the we are going to be yes oh my God, of yeah. the world yeah yeah oh, we yeah, visited sure. i visited yeah. uh, the uh, oh gosh the national team where yeah. they work out in the yeah, gym. Yeah, that's uh, great. Yeah. yeah, That was just a visit, to, like to share, because at that time, from an associate, I think, of mine with my meeting people in the Slavic, uh, the Serbian uh, parliament, uh -huh. uh, we I met people, and then I actually met the woman who was, I think, at that time, the leader of the parliament, and she had gone to school here in America. But I, people I met that were a part of the, with film business and then connected to government and then with that wonderful woman, discussions about things that they were moved by from films in America and the movie Hair. And the movie Hair, 10 years ago maybe, or maybe not that much, maybe more, was an issue that everybody was talking about in Serbia. And I went there for the main, purpose of to see the opening of it on stage with young people from Croatia, from Serbia, from all the different areas uh, within those areas on stage together with the mixed languages 
and English too, but the beautiful production of their own of Hair, the mo uh, this sh show on stage as it was played in the movie, but with their own interpretation. Did, of how course. did how did it feel for you? Because you are, of course, you're. The, I, the I, I got so emotion. I I got so moved. I was so excited and so moved. It was all brand new in its own way. The spirit of those young people on stage, and. Uh, Oh, I was with uh, my wonderful woman, uh, Blanca Blanco, who's Mexican-American. And we were both just like, it was it was like the same, it was the spirit again, but only because it was new there. We were, we were new to the area. We were fresh with the people and the young people going through a new world in, in Serbia. Because I know people who had gone through the whole change in that part of the world. And I grew up, you know, I'm not a kid. But through the through the whole uh, political effort that was going on for years and Yugoslavia and the leaders and all the history, yeah, yeah it's this very was, complicated. This, yeah. this was this was like brand new. This is the new world. Look what's going on all around us now. You know, we need new leadership. We need new understanding. And um, I mean, it's very evident to me we need new leaders that are bringing people well, everyone, together everyone. and not separating them because we need to be together. We need to help each other. And this was the spirit I felt in that show. I I couldn't I couldn't stop. I was I was I, they they pulled me up on stage to sing with them and I oh, was oh wow. I got all emotional. It was just great. Just wonderful. Great music. So so you yeah. could really draw the parallels between when you were shooting actually here and, and this like that that energy of the of the youth and uh and the change it was it was it was it was more than i could, could could actually understand i wasn't part of the energy it was it was the energy coming at me mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know because sometimes as an as a performer you learn the words you learn the music and you present it to an audience who takes it into their world you know and and lives with it so they can be they can be absolutely be moved to tears uh but or excitement with love and the idea that these young people were doing that to me, my, my, not me, doing it for them, was just, it was so powerful. And uh, of course, there's many things still going on in Serbia and Croatia and uh, Romania and the world and the whole world in well, that part really, of the well, world. Well, with this whole thing, the, the coronavirus, we saw how much we're all connected and we're all in this together. I think that's, if anything, humanity is gonna learn that, that, well, wow, wow, we are actually all together in this. Shit. And it's like <laughs> politics, yeah, though. You gotta help each other. And, some, yeah. some, some of it is not acceptable to some people that, that it's even real. They will say, "No, oh, this is nothing. Oh, this is just another flu." Or, "I don't see anybody who has it. It's not real. It's just news." Okay, <laughs> I hope you go. Don't, I hope they don't get sick. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a terrible, terrible disease. And I've seen it, and I've seen people, friends. One of the young men who was in the movie Hair, uh, Dorsey, uh, who played the young African American in the yeah. tribe, yeah. Um, he got sick. <laughs> oh wow! And uh, he was near death. Um, and it was very frightening to all of us because we just gotten together before the sickness came up uh, in our world as a, as a group of friends to share the experience of having done the movie here in America. All of us got together in New York with Treat Williams and, and Beverly D'Angelo and uh, uh, just a great a great bunch of cast. Yeah, so that's and then right away, this, this, this thing hits a couple of weeks later and Dorsey sends me a note. I, you know, basically I, I, can bear, I can't talk, I can't breathe. I have the, I have the sickness, I'm in a hospital. And basically, he was saying goodbye. Oh, I, wow, wow, I was wow. shocked. I w he was dying. And he li a couple weeks later, or maybe three, a long time later uh, now, I don't know how long it's been going on, maybe two months, but very content now. He he's back. He's living. It's not an easy well, recovery. That's, that's I've, I've understood so he's that. okay now, yeah? And he is alive. And this to me, this is what, what people got to remember. Uh, life can be challenging. Yeah, well, you know, you, you, you're, you, yeah, it's, you know, God, thanks God if you're all healthy, that, you know, that you're healthy. Uh. These things that I see in 
life. I, I, when I was young, I was a reader. I read because I was always sick. I was a premature baby, tiny, tiny, tiny little baby, too low, too soon born, uh, many months before I should have. And I actually had a twin sister who was also premature and very tiny. So we had to stay in the oxygen box as babies. And we, I had trouble with my lungs and uh, she died. Wendy, like John oh, and I'm Wendy sorry, and Peter Pan. Yeah. And I lived, I lived and I always had trouble growing up with uh, sickness in my lungs. Now this is part of this, this disease. And I, and I empathize, I empathize because many times I thought I would die. And uh, so some now, sometimes, you know, I remember that bronchitis as I was growing up, <gasps> uh, you know, yeah. not asthma, just bad coughs and congestion. And I had to go for oxygen, you know, stuff, but I lived, except then I got polio. Like this disease, nobody expected, nobody knew. Uh, they worked on uh, vaccines as I was in hospital, my sister and uh, my sisters, two sisters got it, but they got the sickness that didn't paralyze. I was not strong, so I had to go to the hospital and I had to go into the iron lung and I couldn't breathe. Uh, the uh, the uh, tank of uh, the uh, iron lung helped me breathe. And I found, I was very young, but I had already started reading. So I had books and I could look in the mirror and read. And I went all over. I, I went to other places in history. I went to imagination in uh, books like uh, The Past and Tale of Two Cities or, or uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame or um, so you grew up real the That's where I. That's where I, I was. Li I wanted to stay there. <laughs> is that, I is liked the, it in that. Is that what, what this brought your like love for storytelling and acting? I suppose that's when it started, yeah. And then to come home and on a little tiny TV to watch the old black and white movies from the 1930s, 1940s, you know. And, the, and I was in the 1950s. I was five years old in 1955 or whatever. And, uh, oh, great actors, great, great movies. And also interesting politics in the 50s. Eisenhower, people recovering from Second World War. I watched that. I was actually very close to a lot of people of their men and women, of their experience of the depression when they were young. People coming home or not from the First World War. We, my grandpa had been in France in the First World War and not good. Um, many men died and yeah, people yeah. and uh, awesome. alcohol was being drinking. And at the time it was like, hey, let's, you know, let's enjoy our life. Let's rebuild the country. Let's party. Let's smoke. Let's drink. Yeah. That's and a lot of people didn't do so good. But I watched this and then James Dean, you know, and Marlon Brando, yeah. Yeah, yeah. famous actors. But the movies that were being made after all those beautiful movies from the past, there was a new style. And I felt that was the life now around me. And so I lived with that. I felt that that was something in my imagination with the people and my parents and my dad's recovery as a Marine who served in the Pacific and everyone in this squad was killed. And he had nightmares. But he was not a, he was a tough kid, as my mom used to say. Don't worry about him. My dad was six foot eight. Wow. So he was, he was like up there and I was way down here. <laughs> <laughs> but he was kind and very quiet. He had huge hands. He didn't talk a lot, but his hands sometime would come up like, whoa, just like look that big coming at me. And they would put it on my shoulder and nod okay no big deal you know i would I, I got a strength that he must have had to keep going like he did and other men i would see around them in the corner of the little house just sitting together and i think he always wanted to be an actor because he would watch movies with me and he would comment hmm very good very good very good actor you know, very good story. And the stories were why I was there. That's why I read books, was for the stories. 
I love them. So you're, you're always still a do. storyteller, yeah? I love hear. I love listening and seeing them. But to be in a, to read the script and be a part with real people after reading it. Yeah. I'm so glad I had support when I was a kid. I had support with music because uh, I could sing in church. Some, a couple eventually said to my mom, an Italian couple, hey, he has a great voice. You know, he's a boy, but let us just work with him for study. And I'm uh, maybe 12, 13, 14 years old. I was singing opera. I was yeah. singing with them in a nightclub. They were helping me with their with their uh, musical backup and very nice clubs. And I was young. The Americana Hotel was one. And uh, the opera, oh, it goes into my heart. It's like the only, for me, the only classical music that isn't any good is when someone's not playing it well. <laughs> I mean, that really goes into my, this, it goes into my soul. And it brought me, it brought me into work. It brought me, uh, I, 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 I didn't, I still don't feel comfortable in the real world. I'm sure none of us do. I mean, it's very confusing sometimes. But to be able to get, just sit back and appreciate the story right now in peace, where trees and light is different and good and the shadows and calming down. I need to do that and just let my imagination basics, accept yeah. this. Yeah. And uh, I feel music sometimes in peace and silence. And I was so grateful to get into stories on stage, a wonderful music. And wonderful off-Broadway shows, I got into them, and I got into the musical Fiddler on the Roof on Broadway uh, with so, Bette Midler. So you did a lot she of musicals when you were a younger actor, yeah? Huh? Did you do a lot of musicals when you were a younger actor? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, that's explanation for, like, if I can say something, like that's explanation yeah. for the movie Hair. Actually, that's the musical, and that's the most popular music in the world, actually. And it's interesting, yeah, because like when I saw, the show, I saw the show beginning to grow downtown in the village, and they were working on it, and it irritated me right away. You know why? <laughs> because it was, it was, first of all, they called all of these young people hippies, and the name of the... The movie was the name of the show was Hair, yeah. and it sounded like a commercial. <laughs> you know, yeah, son, yeah, it's yeah. in. It sounded or a news item on children out of line, and children being hippies, and this, and that was. I knew a lot of these young people, and they didn't fall into any specific category except some of the more inventing new energy. Jeff Miller was a kid I went to school with. And I always looked at this young man, a small man like me, and he was really friendly and people liked him and he was nice to me. And he was also very smart and brilliant. He was in, in the, you know, some political organization of the group of the teenagers in high school. I actually started working uh, with the musician, with the music help I had and other things oh, before I even got out of high school, you know, before I was in high school. The teachers were helping me, you know, uh, putting me in their musical shows and doing things. And I loved oh, the wow, music. So started so early, wow. Yeah, and Jeff Miller got shot and killed at Kent State, okay? He was involved with new communities if, of young people putting together new energy in college and, and, sell, and making deals with the electric company. I was already married with two children. And, doing shows in New York, but when I saw his picture on the front of the newspaper coming home late from working in a, in actually in a, in a bar when I wasn't working on stage, I was a waiter and running around singing in a bar. I saw his picture on the front page of the newspaper. And I broke, broke my heart. So there was two sides to that generation and everyone was full of a high spirit because of the, Viet the Vietnam effort yeah, 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 yeah right. but also yeah. with within the country with with changes in our understanding of food and need to like we still need to fight for this now because of the strong corporate control of processed food and other things I, europe is a little more controlling but our food is filled with real poison 
and and so are a lot of the areas of energy i mean now our we unfortunately we have a leadership that wants to go backwards and we have more pollution in the air and people say oh it's pollution in the air it's terrible it is so bad that people living in the city because of the pollution are going to die faster from this disease oh yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah absolutely yeah. you know and and people who are older also i've got to, i've got this ability now to to be a father with a son coming home in this tv show the seal team and they really are showing it like it is the dif difficulties between even the people serving together with their understanding of a new world in afghanistan the, the psychology, yeah, where, where human and person has of course, to go yeah. through what the human with us yeah. this is our opportunity as for us what we did in that movie was so beautiful it's hard for people to come home after the conflict under polit politics and war that went Yugoslavia and Serbia went too were they going backwards or forwards we still don't i mean as we as as, as, humans, as fellow yeah, yeah. humans yeah, Ser yeah, yeah. serbs and europeans and americans we are dealing with questions of the future that's something that uh, and, uh, all as, as humans beings as i said we are all we are finding out through this corona I mean, like we are talking to people here there belgium yeah it's actually it's everything Toronto. is global and we're all we're all, we're all yeah. in, in this together yeah, everybody yeah. it's global so we have to actually. learn to take care of each other because if you don't you're gonna be in a big mess yeah yeah we need yeah. we need people like you we need women who will make you do it <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. To, to, to bring movies together to bring stories together yeah. from the heart that's right yeah, exactly yeah not easy sometimes it's no good yeah. sometimes it really raises people to a higher level it's a gift well that's what that's why we yeah. do this i mean the, i mean i guess the filmmaking and telling stories is to yeah to actually the people's spirits and yeah i think yeah. film like connecting people all around the world actually because that's why not you know like it's oh uh, don't worry about the rest of the world john just take care of yourself I'm not sure dad I'm not sure mom yeah. sure <laughs> no it's this is this is you know this, this is the dream i want to live a dream yeah and sometimes you know we need to face the reality of oh my gosh i created a mess i can't get myself out of it help but this is you know this is part of creativity this is part of why we need to work together yeah well, that's what i said about humans sometimes i really get disappointed but as humans but then again you just see the create how we are how creative we are as humans and like you know i just really really then then you get it you know um optimism like and hope that you know we are, we are going to be creative enough and 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 get ourselves out of this mess this, we made for ourselves this this possible something good even when we can't see it you know and uh yeah uh we i mean i get too excited sometimes with uh i i believe in good things what is that map what is that painting behind oh behind so that's you? mona lisa actually let me see if i can oh that's oh, yeah. mona lisa yeah Oh, well, people have been looking for it. Now yeah, I know where yeah, it yeah. is. All yeah, right. now you know. This is exclusive. <laughs> yeah. exclusive. Actually, it's here. Actually, right. it's here yeah, in yeah. our studio. Yeah. It's just as beautiful. It's most, most, uh, most people don't get to see it. So thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no yeah. problem. No problem. And uh, like, John, no. I wanted to ask you. I mean, you, you've been in, in a, these big productions, you know, that, that are, you know, historical and you've been in small, you've been, is, is there anything, irregardless of how popular it became later, is there any particular production that you had the most fun or yeah. like the most or, or you do, the, yeah you like the most yeah like that's a very that's them almost impossible but uh you know i i would say the next one mm -hmm. <laughs> the next i don't know what it is the best. <laughs> yeah yeah I know that's but uh it, no i read i read uh now there's a, a possible next one coming but uh you know this is a this is a very exciting time many many challenges um and uh yeah the next film i have I, i really like it's a heroic story of someone recovering it's actually produced written by a young man who served in vietnam came home blind but actually achieved a success in the athletic field blind. uh and led on to something that happened to a create maybe well it's connected to a lot of things that happened in the 50s with uh football and uh 
also from college football to professional. A few things happened at that time. Um, and I'm, I'm seeing now there was actually the, one of the times when race he started to become more acknowledged of uh, need to acknowledge different race other african-american race different races we still have to fight for that in this country um, yeah but it's a good fight to fight yeah. well yeah you see the horrid picture of two men shooting an african-american i know that just happened Monroe. what two three days so, ago and uh, it's uh, yet another shot and in, in their in their mind it's justifiable so this is the hard part you know for us because you'd be sitting and talking to someone they're nice people like our president will say everybody's a nice person not always we have to stand up for those things that we believe in but we also have to stand up for those things that bring us further with our ability to deal with the challenges in life and helps others you know yeah, that's correct oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the idea of enlightening or teaching or bringing fresh ideas and perspectives and support uh, people say use the word love a lot you know that came out of the 60s love yeah. Love is the answer to all things. What else could you say? Maybe patience, respect, maybe respect. education. Yeah, education, yeah. Well, maybe those are all a part of that word. Huh, not bad, interesting. It's like language, I've, I've seen movies with subtitles and I end up just listening to the language. And it tells and, the stories I, yeah. it's, oh, it's like music, it can be so fascinating to see people sharing communication together. I'm lazy as heck. I hope to learn like one word in every language. Thank you. So, voila. Wow. <laughs> you know, and maybe more. So, so with film, you know, we can do more. So would you be able to say that through each role that you had, you, you actually were able to learn something new? It's, it's I, I get, I, mean, I have a lot of bad habits, you know, I, um, for my age, maybe, but without judging myself or whatever, I, 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 I know uh, I could be a little more patient. And, and I'm very, I'm sorry, I feel I'm very greedy sometimes with, well, there's self sense, self selfish thinking and impulsive, you know, feelings and things that. Yeah, very, very, wait a minute, you know, maybe somebody else has something to say too, you know? Uh, so without getting you know, anxious about stuff, I've seen my behavior um, be a maybe a obsessive and then really having to see more of what is actually my obsessive thinking and behavior is not accept, not acknowledge, not acknowledging it's going on at the same time in my life or in the world that, wait a second, you know, it's like I see young people on cell phones tapping in and looking into the cell phone while they're looking at it, walking right in front of cars. Oh, wait a minute. It's not all on this phone. It's not all in those words on this phone. It's not all in the picture on this phone. It's like in my head. What's your favorite uh, favorite role? My favorite role, yeah. you know, I'm 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 getting older, and oh man, just to be working, but no, to be working in these stories like the Deer Hunter that bring me close to something that I'm I'm involved with in my life. Uh, veterans coming home. I grew up with veterans from the First World War, from the Second World War and the young men coming back from Korea, sitting with the men I saw together in my house, like my grandpa and my dad, in a circle that with just the shoulders together with a drink in their hand, and what are they talking about? I you know, I was kind of like, had to go away, and just sit over on the other side. And then my dad would bring me to the Veterans Administration sometimes, and he'd sit next to the men on, a, on the bed, and I'd sit in the chair and just watch. And I don't think they ever, they didn't talk a lot, but they supported each other. Some men might not have been doing well. I mean, I was not really invited into the thing, but I could see at times men crying, a man crying, 
a man holding his his heart like it was heart was broken and men around him just nodding their head and trying to keep him okay just nodding that it was i was understood yeah, yeah. so these experiences of people and women but coming together sometimes it's not easy to know how to understand that experience of someone else yeah yeah and these areas of trying to get even communities that are people are different in their culture together people are different in what they will go through with their cultural differences um this film i got to do my dad you know saw the film the deer hunter and couldn't talk he didn't talk a lot but he couldn't talk after that didn't talk just nodded his head put his hand on my shoulder and it was difficult for him yeah of course yeah it's, and it's like he lost his whole squad and yeah. it's more personally out. yeah like i understand a marine yeah. a gunner sergeant a gunner he became a sergeant honorarily because it was a short it was a short service but he ended up a long time there in the pacific a few incidents of uh you know he, he he was cut off for i think shortly not from people not too far away but just because of the situation but i don't know the whole story but other men told me and i saw i found a, an album with pictures of these young men together and he was an athlete he was a very he could swim well, as a little kid he was swimming on the south shore of long island became a lifeguard handsome looking guy 15 16 17 years old 17 17 he was in the service in the military so this is the story you know and now this story that i got to share with these guys who the film is about vietnam again and took it a little further in a true story based on a very horrible effort by a huge company of maybe hundreds of men maybe i don't know 400 more men coordinating these artillery shots in after being completely surrounded because they are being they're being led by their command of path to go into an area that they can't get out of they're completely covered by mountains and on each side and and it was pretty much such a trap of all of these men and uh, and they were getting keep getting the artillery from their own people coming in and being misguided because of tremendous chaos and this movie is called the last full measure and it's from the title the last full measure of devotion a hymn quoted by our president lincoln in the gettysburg address and for all the people for their sense of purposefulness in this effort of civil war they died for what they believed in and we've passed that mark of uh, of service of military deaths <laughs> can you you know this is can i ask you yeah. something like i will switch uh, like discussion now like this moment like uh, like for some some funny story can you tell you something about uh, your like uh, about your funniest set or some situation in in field business when when you have like some funny funny story from the from sunset uh there's all there's one story that comes back to my mind uh robert denies that this happened he said he would never say that and i think he says that because it sounds like when i say it that he's not being compassionate uh just the opposite we were in the, some very difficult you know physical stuff going on in the deer hunter and uh um our first attempt uh with that log going down the river that log actually got stuck and we had, we got caught under it uh and uh, uh the boat had a big panavision camera with the director of my chimino and everybody and they got scared because we were stuck christopher i think was down to one end and he, he got out and was able to squeeze out but and Bobby and I would looks like we were going to get crushed by this log was three tons and the water actually ended up moving it but in the meantime the camera and everybody on the camera boat ended up in the water but as we ended up shooting that again 
we rode and we, we carried the, the log carried us down the river and into the bridge. Remember the yeah. bridge? Yeah, yeah. On yeah. the river? Yeah. And uh, for some reason, one of the broken old branches that were sticking up caught on one of the cables on the bridge. Why was the cable so low? Well, it was because the helicopter, one of the struts underneath the helicopter had, and the helicopter was a little bit in movement all the time, mm -hmm. from wind, from other stuff, moving out, moving in once or, once or twice in the previous takes. I think we even could grab it and move it around yeah, yeah. to where it would, and uh, it had caught on the opposite cable on the front of the strut and he had pulled it up. So it pulled our edge down and our log was stuck on the other cable. Oh, wow, and wow. it was, what's going on? I mean, this three ton log is pulling this cable and it was absolutely possible to put our whole body on top of it. Uh, was it uh, dangerous cable. for you guys? And, and Chris, Chris had already hopped up. He's a dancer, boom. He was up in the helicopter, two seconds. You know, he was able to just pull himself up and get in. But I don't think he saw that the cable was stuck. Maybe he did. But we were watching this, and if you see the next angle of looking out at us on the on the bridge, Robert and myself, we were pointing down, and you can see it on film. The front of the of the strut was visible on film outside the, of the door with the cable on it from that picture coming from inside the, the helicopter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was the last bit of that tape, because what happened was the cable came off of the off of the stump and uh, the, the uh, little branch, and we were on it, and it boom it pulled us up in the air, oh, wow. and we were hanging on it underneath the other cable wow. hooked on the helicopter. Yeah, actually, and yeah. it was that the helicopter was going the back and forth above us, wow. and we're screaming. Now we were like, what do we do? Should I drop Bobby, Bobby? I mean, I called him by his character name. And uh, I remember he got up, I said, uh, God, I can't remember what his character was. Michael? Michael. And he, he's, he's he's trying to figure out what the best thing to do is. He's looking up at me, you know, should we fall? I don't know, John, John, what do you think? Should we drop? I don't know. And, you know, he said, you know, I said, oh, Jesus. And I, I, I think I, it was just because I was calling him by his character name. He, he looked at me and said, John, will you get out of character? We're going to die. Oh, wow. wow. You were going to go the way. Yeah, wow. And I think, I think we, we pretty much almost started laughing at that point. Cracked up and we dropped. And we fell quite a ways oh, wow. from me. But we hit, we hit the water and we came up and bumped into. We think we both actually, there was... We recognized there was an upside down old of those old long boats they called them in Thailand in the water. We came up around that, up into see the helicopter still going around. But that moment, <laughs> for me, you know, that was a serious movie. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And very strong lesson. Other things happened. I don't want to bring up. Yeah, it's actually, people involved with that film. I and, uh, spoke with with our friend like maybe a week ago about the big because he is a helicopter pilot actually and i spoke with him a week ago and actually when he was trying to explain me how to operate with helicopter and everything actually it's really really difficult and like, very difficult it's really difficult and like i'm surprised actually because when you did when you did the scene with helicopter actually everybody who is included in that scene it's really, really, really kind of amazing job, actually, to, to set the up everything. The amount of shifting that... weight, you know, we didn't, we didn't think about it, but the people inside, how many shifting moments for the pilot? Oh, yeah. With oh, people yeah. moving on the struts and moving around inside and oh, yeah. people coming in and out and doing things in a plane typically. It's amazing that you guys uh, stayed alive. I think yeah, we yeah, were yeah. very that's lucky. That's important. Yeah, we were yeah. very lucky. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I know I, I had a drop myself you know once not as high as the long shot but we were conscious of the fact that there was broken trees underwater now they scouted everything oh, right. and when we fell we kind of knew where we were supposed to fall <laughs> i mean i had to fall right there was another stuntman who did a drop mm -hmm. too 
and I think Bobby too. Uh, but the uh, the difficulty was like, are we sure? Just because we can see a broken stump over there of a tree sticking out of the water, that there's not one where I'm going to fall. Is there rocks underneath where I'm going to fall? It was very, very unsure, you know, and uh, uh, a lot of times you just, you, it's like you, you're in a service, you're doing, or you're doing a job. Exactly. That's part. Uh, you, somebody, a, the director says, do this, you do it. John, I have you a know? question for you as a, as a director, because um, you worked with some of the you know greatest directors, you know, you worked with Terrence Malick and you worked with David Lynch and, and Michael Cimino oh, and, and Nicholas yeah. Foreman. Is there anything that you can, you know, tell us from that experience? And, and I mean, those those people are masters and, and, and anything for the young filmmakers, you know, um, you as an actor, they're like, you know, they're very, 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 very different. They're all, they're all masters of their craft, but I suppose they're all different in, but, in working with you. Yeah, yeah. but maybe with, your experience all with working with the, the, the most... Completely, completely different. Yeah. Completely different characters of men, completely different people. And the only thing that I can understand about any any one of them was their support for me as an actor. So that's the unifying. A lot of unifying. times, I'm a, a lot of times I'm not feeling. I don't know. I, I don't know. What I, what do I do? And my heart just takes over, and it's because of support from a director. When I was working with, with David with Malik, uh, I mean, I got on the set, and I had also been talking to him uh, months before. I think I met him in Texas too, uh, well, he was just for a talk. But before the movie, we talked, and I sh I talked to him about my dad, about a development of two libraries with the history of the Pacific War and the European War and the Afri North African it's, uh, it's collecting materials from children or relatives of soldiers and men and women who served and uh, I had some stuff from my dad but the idea of seeing these this development and he used some of the the sharing of these stories with me because yeah I gave him little writings of material and pieces and some directors are a couple of other people they they are they kind of they're, they're, they can be very open or not to what do you think of this or something but when he when I got to the set it was uh he's very quiet man very quiet spoken up I know so I got to Australia and I got stuck in the airport I don't remember what the problem was something with needing a visa or I don't know and I was I was in a state of confusion even when I got to the set. And he says, and then, but the guys were all there, and they were doing their you know setting up for shots on this hill set up and this everybody was in uniform. I was in uniform. John, uh, just you know, remember these notes I gave you. Well, this is kind of just go up there. Let's walk up there towards the top of the hill. And, and uh, the camera's up here. It's going to be fun. Yeah. When you get up there, you, just, you see how you feel. Just, uh, okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, action. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm walking in. Uh, and all of a sudden, explosions start going off. And stuff is happening over here. Stuff is happening. And then it stops, and I just walk to an edge. Oh. And I had prepared with what I knew was going to be going on because I was only thinking of what my dad must have gone through. As an actor, you have to take all that in, in that moment, all of this, everything has to be in your, in your, in your, is it, is it one simple question? Is it difficult to be an actor? Because some people say that's the easiest and the most difficult thing that you can ever do in, in the world. Is the it difficult, difficult to be an actor? Yeah. Oh gosh. Well, after several years of acting, what's my life? What's my life? 
okay, like your opinion about the, like when you start with the acting in that time and now, like, yeah. you, like your opinion about that, do you want to be actor like in everything like that set up like today? You will do the same thing or something different? Do you like more or less than you start? Uh, and at my age today, yeah, I, I hope I, I hope I get through it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm lucky. I'm lucky to get a job, but the idea of my staying healthy, a body and mind, uh, um, it's one step at a time. I don't. I don't think I'm. Um, but do you I'm like a, more I'm, or less now? Do you like more or less now? Like in this time. Oh God, it's the same, but uh, oh, it's different. Nice. I'm 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 older. Uh, you know, it's hard for me to accept that I'm like twice the age of most of mm -hmm. the actors I'm working yeah. with. I mean, like, and it's, uh, it's life. I, and I feel like a father of them sometimes, you know. But I step to them. I they I go, oh my, I'm just another guy. I've shared that with the actor, a uh, wonderful guy. I was with, uh, oh gosh, P J. P -J uh, oh well, he was the greatest. Uh, guy in the world, young actor on the SEAL team. And I have to agree with him. Mm. You know, I was talking and we were sharing dialogue about this, the essence of the people we're playing and coming home to a family when he's got his commitment. I was talking mostly to a, to his team and his squad in, in Pakistan and Afghanistan and years there. and. Now he's coming home. I know, I understand. I have to... But a lot, of, a lot of people was grow up like with your roles, and a lot of people like all around the world remember your roles, and you are like kind of hero for the people, you know, from the roles you have, like from the past. Yeah, but if they got to know me, it would be a shame. You know no. what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with being that. An, no. Being an artist, I mean, you're, you're leaving yeah. something you left behind. But it's, it's, it's more footstep. powerful. It's just different. I, it's, 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 it's people's imagination. That's why I love this work. Give people a place to go, to, to just, just to be some piece, somebody else for a while. Yeah, to escape to from, 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 yeah. from our so lives. I'm, we escaping from that, yeah. like, via yeah, movies if, if or TV get, shows. If people feel anything at all, I don't care if they don't like me, if they can share moments in the movie, they, they can they get through the movie. And some movies, people are extremely moved. I have such incredible power coming at me from men and women who have shared my experience that I bring some small part of that, whether it's military or family or something. Uh, it's it's a purpose that I feel I'm serving. You know what I'm saying? Extra, Just like yeah, yeah. a lot of doctors are there and they can't heal you. They can't save you. They can't do it, but they're there for you. And you get some other per, some other feeling. You, yeah, actually yeah. you helping to people emotionally with like with your with your life is you emotionally yeah. you helping a lot to people actually. Because you know for what? For me that's Lazar, that's, that's the artist. Yeah, our yeah. friends Lazar actually told me when doctor like came home after the work and he helping like lives, you know, he helping two people. But when he came home, he watching the movies actually, and he, you know, like and he have like another heroes and another life and everything to have a, have like a nice nice time for himself and everything. You know that's that's exactly that's huge thing actually. Yeah. We helping like yeah. uh, with film industry. We helping we have helping people a lot actually to have better and like, time. Yeah. Yeah. What you and I you and I talking like this right now? We mustn't forget. We must forget how much we are holding, we are carrying, as what you do, what I do out there, what we do now, this, just together, yeah. recognizing this is our work, you know? And 
well, this is us. You know, it's like when people say, I, I don't want to go to that support group. I, I don't need it. It's okay. Wait a minute. What is that little something in somebody else? That's correct. Yeah. We and you sit with small... them and all of a sudden you say, yeah. you know something, you're going to be okay. Yeah. Well, wait a second. I'm having a problem with the same thing and I'm telling him you're going to be okay. It's, it's, I mean, it's not exactly that, yeah. but you share something, even if we can't find the words. I can't tell you, I can't tell you what your job is. We well, help in a small way, like to other right. people on our way, we helping to other people for sure on some way. That's this is, this is the problem to sometimes. This is the, the problem for work. Uh, we become obsessed. Men go and do a job. They have a suitcase for business. They're going to work. They're going to get up in the morning, go to work, and they're devoting their lives to their work. How long is it going to take for them to forget everything else? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't realize it. But, you know, everybody is different. The wives may be different. This is just a, a generalization. Is today, now, like I said with the military, more women are working and doing something else. My, my evidence that I got when I was young was this was a new time for women and my as a child. We have a lot of helicopters running around. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> maybe it's our yeah. friend Alan or not. I, know. I gotta be careful. But the idea of the growth in our cultures and our societies with women, wake up. You know, this is not an easy trip for men and women. And for the women, they need that. Um, you have to take time off too. Oh yeah, of course. Like men, you've got to take time off. You know, I noticed in the last couple of years, I've just got totally lost in my business mind. And I wasn't even working a lot, but I had maybe one great job. And it took, and it was like, I, I just, my, my energy was involved with all of the aspects of service to people and doing things with the community and working with the development of these new projects from for, for military and recovery for army and uh, also for firefighters and also for nurses and these groups for recovery and things. How, I got totally committed to that stuff. And, I, and then I started to realize I'm not, I'm not really, uh, my feet were not on the ground. I was, I was obsessed. So where, where is the balance? It's like I, when I have a job, I have somebody tells me where to go, what to do. I have a script. My purpose is to fulfill the words and the action in that script. And I have to be careful because I want to get it. I get interested maybe in everything else going on. <laughs> And, but, and John, because our, our yeah. batteries are, are going dead, they're, they're going to be, our cameras are going to shut down soon, I think, it looks like. I wanted to ask you something, oh. you, you, again, being a, a great acting legend, just before they, they all switch off, is there, is there any message that you can tell to young actors? Yeah, yeah. And, and, no, and just filmmaking, like, filmmakers. Or, yeah, all like, the filmmakers or actors, any, yeah. any like, words of wiseness let's say words of wiseness from, from yeah sorry. for people um, all around the world actually like for everybody to to make a, a better society and everything like yeah. well i would say stay active you know stay healthy stay active stay active and uh do do what you can for your health exercise a little exercise body do that routine every do a routine every morning you know something you do with getting out of bed having your breakfast or before your breakfast doing some exercise keep exercising your mind and focus on what it is that you are going to be needing in your work organize things for keeping things like in order uh, a little chart you know not everything has to be in your head write down number one number two number three number four number five. you know check them off if you want to study your lines from this time to this time, I will study, I will work, you know. Uh, focus on what it is that you want to think about and apply yourself and give a space 
or many spaces, two, three, four, during the day where that doesn't require any thinking, any effort. It's for here. That's a good, that's a good I heard lesson. a Tracy Chapman song the other day. All we have is our soul. Breathing, relaxing, gently stretching, meditating, making yourself just okay. It's okay to just be okay. And oh, one more question, you. actually. Yeah. We, we trying to film some movies soon. Like, actually, we... We, we tried to uh, to shoot that like uh, last year actually but now we have to move one more year all after. you need all you need is a cell phone actually, all you need is the cell phone what are you talking about what's the big yeah, deal but no actually because Wait. we want to ask you because we want, we have one role for you actually we wanted you right? yeah and the in the phone. movie <laughs> i can only do one role i can't i can only do one role so, one role yeah. one right. role is good thank yeah, you very much okay. Okay. And we appreciate that <laughs> Yeah, actually, yeah, we we want to we want to film something and like if you want, like we want to invite you invite you for the for that role. Hopefully, well, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it happens. I would love to do that. If I have to learn Serbian, that's all right. No, actually, no, no, it's American want. movie. American movie. It's English, okay. Yeah. In Indian. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You guys are terrific. I look forward to working with you. Yeah, it would be Thank great you. to see you on set again. And uh, before that, I hope I'll, well, as, as promised, when I come back to LA, uh, we'll, we'll go for a, for a beer. Take care of yourself. And God bless. One is on me. One yeah, is on yeah, me, yeah, for cool. sure. Yeah. Deal. Yeah. Yeah, John, John. Thank you so much. For thank you time. so much. We much, much appreciate it. It's uh, it was uh, thank it you. It was a great pleasure. It was just to listen to you and you know, to the to the you know words of, of a wise man. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. much. We appreciate that. Thank Hvala. you so much. Hvala. Hvala. Yeah. It was Hvala. great to you know, grow, grow up with your movies and you know now to you yeah. know, like you know be, be friends more than anything. Thanks. And Thank I, you so I much. I love to all, all of the people uh, in Serbia. <laughs> yeah. God bless. Take Thanks. care. Bye bye. Thank bye. you so much. Thanks, John. And thank John. Yeah. And yeah. Thank you, John, for for uh, your time and your expertise, Ex and, yeah, expertise and sharing, and sharing everything with us and, yeah and, like, yeah yeah thank you so much thank you very much yeah and uh okay we will maybe meet other some other time in in like in our film hopefully yeah, hopefully yeah film production. and like, or I, we will do the some like kind of podcast yeah. in live well i promise john that i'll 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 take him for a beer and a lunch when i'm when i'm back in you house. have to do that so actually. i have to do yeah, it yeah. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching us and I, I hope you like that. If you like, just press that button, like subscribe. Big red button. Yeah, yeah. Big like, red button. Please, because if you want to see more, more people from the movie, that's it, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I really hope that, you know, John passed some cool messages, you know, uh, for other actors and, and just people. And yeah, thank you very much for uh, sticking with two of us. <laughs> Now in, in, in English version too. Okay. Thanks. Subscribe. That's